Hi everyone, my name is Katie and welcome to this video on the BMAP preparation, everything you need to know about the BMAP. This video will provide ample tips and advice on everything you will need to know if you are or thinking about sitting the BMAT examination. So what does the BMAT stand for? The Biomedical Admissions Test, more commonly known as the BMAT, is an entry exam for people who wish to study the following. So medicine, dentistry, veterinary uh, science. Universities that require the BMAT. The BMAT is required by certain universities and below is a list of universities that require students to undertake the BMAT assessment. So we've got University of Cambridge, Imperial College London, University of Oxford, Oxford Medical School, University College of London, Lancaster University, University of Leeds, Kiel University, Brighton and Sussex Medical School and then we have listed some uh, universities from abroad okay so we've got ones in Thailand, Singapore, Netherlands, Spain, Malaysia etc. So some test information. So the BMAT is a two hour paper which comprises of three sections. So the first section is aptitude and skills and there's 35 questions which will cover topics such as problem solving, understanding arguments and data analysis. And you will have one hour to complete this section. The second section is scientific knowledge and application. You'll have 27 questions to answer and the topics covered will include physics, chemistry, biology and maths, which will all be at a GCSE standard level. And the time frame for this is 30 minutes. And the final section, section 3, is a writing assessment. There's one question to answer, which is an essay question, which is science-based. And again, you will have 30 minutes to complete this assessment. So BMAT, B, uh, the BMAT testing fees. So if you are taking the BMAT, you will need to pay to sit the exam. So you, you will pay £46 for UK candidates, £78 for candidates outside of the UK, and £33 for additional late entry fee. So depending on circumstances, you may be eligible for a reimbursement. But you will need to apply for this when you register to take the biomedical admissions test. So BMAT preparation. So BMAT preparation is definitely something that you will need to consider if you are sitting the biomedical admissions test. Of course, the best way to prepare for the BMAT is via the official BMAT website. From here, you will be provided with an array of BMAT practice material, including sample papers and test specifications. Below, I have outlined just a few key tips that I think will really help you when it comes to BMAT preparation. So first of all, familiarise yourself with the BMAT process. Read through the official BMAT website. Secondly, study the content of the BMAT exam. Understand the different types of questions you will face during the exam. Understand how to reach the correct answers. Download and practice sample papers to help you prepare for the assessment. And finally, the first section tests your ability to think critically, solve problems and analyse data. Although no subject knowledge is required, you need to be able to demonstrate the key skills required for the subject such as medicine or dentistry etc. The second section requires an in-depth understanding of GCSE subjects, including all science subjects as well as maths. So be sure to um, improve on your GCSE understanding of all these subjects. The last section will assess your written communication. Although you won't know the topic that you'll be assessed on, you need to show that you have the ability to organise and communicate your ideas fluently and concisely. So BMAT preparation guide. So on the BMAT website, you can find a PDF download which gives you all the necessary information that you will need to sit the biomedical admissions test. And I've given you that link right here, okay? So you can click on that and it will give you a whole load more information about the BMAT. To help you prepare, take a look at our How's Become blog on critical thinking test tips because this will really help when it comes to the first and second sections of the exam specifically. 
Okay, so that's it from me on the BMAP preparation. I hope you have found something in this video a little bit useful. If you do have any questions or any feedback from me, I'd love to hear from you. All you need to do is drop me a message below this video and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video and share the video with all your friends and family. The last thing for me to say is that I wish you all the very best of luck in your BMAP preparation.